Welcome to Anchor Daily. This is Angie, and today we have our wrap-up episode that includes a panel of special guests, kind of like a season finale. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today on this wrap-up episode of Anchor Daily. You might be wondering why this is a season finale, a swan song of sorts for our Anchor Daily podcast. What's next? Well, I will explain more about that at the end of this podcast. But for now, I'd like to introduce our special guests who have joined us today. We have gathered some people together to talk about how they were impacted by our podcast, both as listeners and as content creators. So let's start with Derek. Introduce yourself, your role in the podcast, and how long you've been attending Bethel. Well, hey, everyone. I'm Derek. Uh, I have been... Uh, someone who makes some of the podcasts, uh, maybe once a month or so, uh, uh, in presenting those. I've been at Bethel, honestly, since the late 80s when I was a toddler, and uh, I've been a part of it now into my mid-30s. Very good. How about you guys? The, I'm Julia. This is Doug. We've been attending Bethel probably a few nine, years. Years. nine years, and we are podcast aficionados. We oh, love the podcast. Yeah. Very good. Users awesome. and, and listeners and uh, just love them. Very good. Well, we're, we're glad you're here and you're, you're joining us today. So mm-hmm. we're going to tackle some questions together and just kind of celebrate with you, our listeners, the impact of Anchor Daily. So mm-hmm. let's get started. So question number one, Derek, I'm going to start with you. Um, you were a host and a writer of some mm-hmm. podcasts. Yeah. So what did you love about that opportunity to study scripture and share insights? Yeah, well, um, when I was in high school is kind of when I fell in love with the scriptures, when it went from something that I did regularly to something I desired mm-hmm. to study on a regular basis. Um, and I, that's been a gift for me that um, the Holy Spirit has gifted me in a way to connect best with him when I am in the scriptures, when I am studying them, when I am reading them. I'm not like a big nature person or, uh, you know, uh, music. The, the big picture isn't always my thing, but when I get to open the Bible and be in the word, that's when the Holy Spirit fills his role in showing me Jesus. Mm-hmm. So any opportunity that I get to do that and share it with others, I just, I love it. I, I love doing that. And especially when I can involve my church family with me in, in that preparation and in that sharing. That's awesome. I, I kind of have a similar passion. Um, I love to study the word. And, you know, when I can put it all together in a podcast and, and use um, really one of my passions, which is writing, um, I have loved every week. I've loved the opportunity to write, to share, um, and I, I'm just looking forward to seeing how God takes this in a little bit different format and, and unveils it. So we've listened, and God has spoken through so so many people in this podcast, and it's really been, I think, a sweet spot for a lot of our people, um, just how the Holy Spirit's moved and spoken, and and I've loved it. And I've also loved just the feedback. I've mm. appreciated, you know, I've had a lot of people talk to me and stop me, and, and um, man, I just give the credit to God for that. So it's been a lot of fun, and I've loved being able to be a vessel, mm. uh, just like you're saying, that, that he has used. So, all right, well, let's switch to you guys as podcast listeners or affectionados. <laughs> um, you know, how's it impacted you? How's it changed your relationship with God? Well, frequently I would read the verse that was the podcast was going to be about, and I'd get my take on, the, on what I thought was going to come out of your mouth. And I'd be surprised virtually every time. Um, some of the hosts were just so great. Um, they would take and not just repeat the biblical story, but they would personalize it and bring it out in a different way. Mm -hmm. Um, A recent example was uh, Sarah did one. Her takeout was already, not yet. Mm -hmm. And I just thought about that, you know, and and her idea was, well, I've dealt with this stronghold and I've overcome it or I'm I'm working on it only to discover another stronghold, Mm -hmm. you know, a a nuance. And, And I just thought, wow. I wouldn't. I would never have gotten that out of that. Yeah, that's so. good. How yeah. about you, Julia? Well, I think uh, the podcasts a lot of times are very convicting, like Doug describes, <laughs> yeah. and uh, I, and I know that through a lot of them, I've kind of focused on things like um, uh, 
forgiveness. Uh, Nancy mm -hmm. O'Brien, I think in January, did one that was on forgiveness. Mm -hmm. That was just like an arrow through my heart. And uh, getting a little sense of something that's not maybe in the Bible per se. And, and uh, Sarah again did one recently about uh, uh, the Battle of Jericho. And what was Rahab thinking as she mm -hmm. looked out the window and is like, oh, wow, I've never thought about that. Mm -hmm. It kind of makes me want to you know, when I read the Bible, read a little bit more or imagine a little mm -hmm. bit more what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. so good. I That's what I love, too. I love hearing different people share mm -hmm. their stories and how the scripture relates to them. And and they're just pulling nuggets out. And right. uh, there have been times where people have read a podcast or, or shared a podcast and I've been like, I have read that scripture mm -hmm. a hundred <laughs> yeah. times. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And exactly. I never yeah. got that yeah. out of it. And that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So <laughs> love that. Yep. So um, for all of you, how did Anchor Daily encourage or maybe challenge you in your walk um, just as you participated in it the last couple of years? Mm. Well, I'd, I'll tackle both because it's done both for me. Um, the encouragement uh, from a listener point of view, I, I love what Doug and Julia had to say about that because it felt like I was getting closer to the members of our church mm -hmm. just by hearing how they tackled the Bible. And that always encouraged me. I think in the same way that uh, music on a Sunday when we're gathered mm -hmm. is us saying the same words to God at the same time. Like I love having a daily reading plan and being like, the people of my church are reading the same passage that I'm reading today. Like it brings me closer to all of you, mm -hmm. uh, even though we're separated and apart. So that has really encouraged me. Mm -hmm. um, then on the challenge front, uh, as someone who makes some of these some of the time, I, I mentioned that I, I love the study. I love being in the Word. The thing that is difficult for me um, is writing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unlike you, Angie, I'm not, I'm not, um, that one's not a passion of mine. Mm -hmm. So that last step, uh, it's always a challenge for me to get there. You know, I'm writing at one or two or three in the morning, <laughs> finishing up, <laughs> finishing up a script for this. But it, when I'm in those moments, I remember that this is something that is a weakness of mine. Mm. But as Paul tells us, where we are weak, that is where Christ's power is mm. made perfect. Mm -hmm. So as I am being challenged, I have been appreciative that that then is where the Spirit can use that to show His mm. power in place mm. of mine. Very good. Very yep. Good. How about you guys? To me, the the podcasts have been like little mini small group meetings, mm. and so as we've had them, you know, daily or every other day. Uh, it's just been like a little burst of, uh, I don't know, that spirit um, kind of buoying me up. That's been the real positive. But as I said before, sometimes they really challenge me mm -hmm. and uh, convict me, and I have to work on that. Yeah. What about well, you? And I just look forward to the days they're released. Mm -hmm. I, you know, what's it going to be? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and where are they going? Um, it also um, was very useful in our small group um, mm. that we would bring up one from the last yeah. week and, and talk about it so it would stimulate that thought process. Mm -hmm. And again, virtually every time, everyone thought, wow, I did not see it going yeah. that way. You yeah. know, I wouldn't have gotten that. Yeah. So it just strengthens our understanding extends our understanding. Mm -hmm. so. so good. And I love that just the body participates, you know, yeah. people who maybe uh, would not be comfortable getting up on a Sunday morning. And yeah. an example of that, uh, you know, is the late Mark Wassmiller, and we wanted to mention him today. Um, you know, he recorded a lot of podcasts for us. And so uh, his wife, Beth, shared something with me. She said, uh, Mark enjoyed the Anchor Daily and would listen on his way to work every morning. He loved studying the word and putting together a podcast gave him an outlet for sharing his thoughts that he had from studying. Mm -hmm. The ironic thing is, is that he did not enjoy speaking in front of people. So the podcast gave him a great outlet, although he was always super nervous. <laughs> so we can, we can definitely relate to that, but what a, what a gift. Uh, that you know his family can still listen to his voice and and his uh, just the wisdom that he shared and brought. So we sure miss him, um, but boy, he sure encouraged us and challenged us, you know, through some of the podcast recordings that he did. Uh, the other thing I wanted to just say is I was really super encouraged by the people who work behind the scenes on the podcast. You know, Tristan was behind the scenes, Andrew's behind the scenes. We've got people behind the scenes that are 
putting a lot of time and a lot of effort in uh, the reading plan and making the podcast happen. And it's just super encouraging to see people using their giftings. Mm -hmm. And even though, you know, their staff, they're still, mm -hmm. those are some sweet spots for them. Mm -hmm. So I always loved that and loved just catching up with them, you know, when we had opportunities. So, all right. Um, kind of the future, uh, hope for the future, you know, we're changing the, the content a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so just interested in, um, you know, what you hope going forward as far as our new, it's going to be called Anchored. Ooh. So, yeah. So. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's important that we as a church still know that being in the Word together is what we want to be so that mm -hmm. that <laughs> emphasis isn't quitting. That's yeah. good to me. Um, I'm, I'm hopeful for more, um, that we can do more like this have a little more interaction with mm -hmm. with something like this. So it isn't just one person's yeah. perspective, but we can bounce back and forth. Just like you were saying with your small group going through it, mm -hmm. like we can be the small group when we're making it mm -hmm. as as well, that we can get that aspect of, mm -hmm. of this and maybe even give it a little more spontaneity and unexpectedness uh, as well. I'm, I, I think those could be benefits for all of us as mm -hmm. we're going through it. That's good. Well, I appreciated the candid nature of the host. You know, they would share things that you wouldn't normally share. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that just made it more real. Mm -hmm. And I hope to carry that carries through. Yeah. Um, and you also mentioned that uh, I think Mark um, listened to it on, a, on his way to work or, or whatever. I think that's an important <laughs> aspect that whatever vehicle you send, it, whether it's a video or not, people can still listen, mm -hmm. you know, to mm -hmm. it you know, even if they can't see it. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to just studying, learning together, growing together, hearing more stories together uh, of our Bethel family and just being able to share in that together, I think is gonna be good. So kind of our wrap up question here is one I'm gonna answer and that mm -hmm. is, what's the next step for the podcast? So you might remember that we started Anchor Daily three years ago in the midst of COVID. Mm -hmm. There was a, a huge need at that time for our body to stay connected. And the podcast was a, a great avenue for that to happen five days a week. Uh, we adjusted to three days a week as our, our listeners' needs changed. And then we are once again responding to some of those changing needs. So in September, we will make a shift from our three days a week audio version of Anchor Daily to a weekly video version called Anchored. So the concept is the same. Uh, just the format and the style are going to be updated. Uh, we'll continue to share personal stories. Uh, we'll look for insights as we tackle scriptures together. Uh, hopefully have some lively conversations. And, and why are we doing that? Well, we still value helping our Bethel folks dig deeper into their relationship with God, the church, and the world. Scripture is an anchor that keeps us secure to God and our faith. And the Lord is an anchor that helps secure us when the winds of change and hardship blow our direction. So we hope that you'll join us in September as we pivot in this new direction. Next month, I'm gonna lead five new anchored episodes to get us started. <laughs> and then we'll add more hosts and more content as we go. We're so grateful for you, our loyal listeners, mm -hmm. and we are super excited to launch this new format together. May Jesus be glorified as we continue to grow together in Him. Amen. Thanks for our guest and thanks for our listeners today for joining us. We'll catch you in September with the new Anchored format.